Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 30.13, and today I want to talk about uh, thickening up some of your sounds. Um, a lot of the times in uh, old school sampling techniques, they just either didn't have the time or interest in going back and recording other sounds. So to thicken something up, often what you do is just pitch it up or down. So let's just uh, get something on the, the force here. Let's just record to pad four. We'll just record in a straight up like choir sound here. And that's probably about enough. I'll let the tail go out and we'll finish recording. Then all I'm gonna do is just copy pad four here to pad eight. So we got a copy of it. I'm gonna go to pitch on pad eight and let's pitch this down 12. And then if we play just the one, that's what we get. But we get this much thicker sound if we play both at the same time now. Now, we can't pitch this down a, or pitch it up a full uh, octave easily, but what we can do is pitch it up six, and then we can resample to 12, and then record that. So with that done, we can now, we've got 12. If we pitch that up an additional six, we should now, oh, not five, six. We should now be able to have like thicken the other way. So now you get more high-end presence. And, you know, again, like you could even do this this way where you have one all the way down minus 12, one plus 12. And you'll get like just the, this crazy wash of sound, but it can be a good way to just beef up your sounds without having to do a whole lot of extra work. So, uh, you know, guys, I would just say, you know, think about what you've got for material. It's not always about trying to be uh, super creative. Sometimes just do the easy things. I'll, I'll do this sometimes in tracks where I want to have something sound a little bit more accented. I'll just pitch something up or down uh, in addition to whatever I'm playing. It can sound really good or just add that little extra bit of oomph when you go into like a drop or breakdown or you try to do a build up again and just generate more energy. So think about it as a way to change sounds or as a way to kind of keep your tracks moving without having to spend a whole lot of time on it. And you can always go back later and switch it out for something else, but I find this to be a pretty solid technique. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, keep making music, and peace.